making a rocket. It's a really lovely rocket. And our rocket has fire coming out of the engines and a little red nose cone. So what you will need for your rocket is a rectangle in either paper or cardboard, a triangle for the nose cone, and some circles. Now, we're going to need three little circles. And in the rocket that I made, I used silver wrapping paper. But you can use white paper, it's perfectly all right. And you can just color it in, perhaps with a, another color if you would like to. So we're going to make our three little circles for our windows. Now with your piece of A5 paper, which you will need to make those windows, we're going to fold it three times. So one fold and then another one. And then on that piece of paper you need a little circle. So I'm going to use a jar and I'm going to trace around that jar. So now we have three little circles and that's the windows for our rocket. We have our main part of our rocket, we have the nose cone and you will also need a little triangle like this, just for the, the little right at the top of the nose cone on your rocket. Now you will also need another piece of A5 paper and we're just going to fold that in half like that and I want you to cut along the two fold lines there so just one cut and then another one and then with this extra piece of paper that you had from your A5 I want you to fold it in half that way and then slice into that And I want you to also now just cut off the corner there, like that, on each side. And that's for the engines on your rocket. I think we're set to go. So we're going to be using blue paint today. Now you're welcome to use any crayons or coloured pencils uh, at all, that's fine. We're just going to use a little bit of blue paint, nice bright blue. Painting up the body of our rocket with that beautiful blue paint. Such a pretty blue. You can put it on as thick as you like. It just might take a little bit longer to dry. Really nice. Thick blue paint for the, the body of your rocket. And then we've got the nose of your rocket. Like that. We've also got those two engines, those shapes that we cut the diagonal off the corner on each one. So just make sure when you're going to paint them that the, the diagonal comes in like that. So maybe that one there like that and this one here like this. A little bit of blue paint on those. Blue, blue, nice blue. Now that's all our blue pieces painted there. We're also going to be doing some more colour. We're going to be putting some red on the fire that's coming out of our engines. And we've got the three windows. Now I'm not going to put any colour on the windows. I'm just going to leave them white at the moment. So I'm just going to get nice red crayon 
and I'm going to use the side of it again just to make it a little bit faster. It fills in much bigger areas when you use the side of your crayon. One and two engines with a dryer coming out for our rocket. Also, almost forgot, the little nose cone, the little red nose cone at the top of your rocket. So just put some red crayon on that. And it's a nice bright little patch of red at the top, which looks really bright. So now that the paint has dried, we're now going to assemble our rocket. So you'll just need some glue. Some PVA glue is fine or any kind of glue will do. And we're going to start with the body of our rocket, the rectangle, standing up. And we're going to put the triangle on top. Now, if you could just put a little strip of glue at the bottom of that triangle there. Like that. And just glue it onto the top of the rectangle. And then we've got the two shapes and we're going to glue those onto the bottom of the rectangle. So just a little bit of glue at the top and paste it on like that. And another bit of glue at the top of that shape there and paste it on. So you can see that the, the diagonals go in towards the middle for the engines. Now the next step we're going to be putting on our two shapes that are the fire coming out of the rocket. So a little bit of glue on the top of your red rectangle and that gets stuck on the bottom like that. And a little bit more red on the glue on the top of the other, a bit more glue on the top of the other rectangle and stick that on the top of the other shape on the other engine. So we've got fire coming out of the engines of our rockets and we're almost finished. Next we need to put some, some windows on. So we've got three little circles remember and so we need to put some, some glue on the back of those and just one, two, little windows and we've got our nose cone. So just some glue on the back of your little triangle, your little red triangle and that goes right at the top of your rocket like that. Now it's almost finished, it just needs a little bit more decorative work so I have a piece of glue paper here and I'm going to just cut a couple of very thin rectangles out of this glue paper by just folding a couple of rectangle shapes and then I'm just going to cut along those lines. You could use any paper that you have, any coloured paper will be fine. Just as a little bit of colour on the side of your rocket. Or any wrapping paper. So a couple of long thin blue rectangles like that, just long strips and some glue on the back of those. Like that one side of your rocket and another one on the other side. Like that. It's story time now. Our story today is about rockets and it's called the ABC book of rockets planets and outer space and the author is Helen Martin, Judith Simpson and Cheryl Orsini. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off, vroom, rockets fire the spacecraft high towards a far off place, zooming fast through the silent sky to explore outer space. What's out there in outer space? Hmm, sun, lots of planets, and planet Earth, where you live. We live on
live on planet Earth. The dazzling sun, so hot and bright, gives planet Earth both warmth and light. Playing at the beach on a nice hot sunny day. Sunshine in the day, lots of things to do in the sun. Moonlight at night, mmm, different things happening at night. Here's an owl in the tree. Daytime, what are these people doing? Having a picnic at the beach, playing in the park, cleaning tea. Nighttime, what are these people doing? Reading a story, just like this. The moon looks different on different nights. Very small here, getting bigger. Full moon over here in this picture. What animals come out in moonlight? Mm, it's a wombat. And here's a possum and a bat and an owl. We can look through telescopes to see more of the moon, stars and planets in outer space. Astronauts ride in a spacecraft to take a closer look. Inside a spacecraft, everything floats unless it's fixed in place. So because there's no gravity, the food is all floating and here's a person reading a book, floating and exercising upside down, sleeping, need to be strapped into bed. Astronauts wear special suits in outer space. So here's our spaceman. He's got his space suit on and his special boots and gloves, helmet and controls. And he has a special safety line to the spacecraft, which is very important. Imagine going to the moon. The astronauts are ready to board the spacecraft. Bye. The rockets are ready for liftoff. Next stop, the mysterious moon. The spacecraft has landed. Hello, moon. What will the astronauts find? They make deep footprints in the dust and leave a flag behind. Welcome back from outer space on a bright and sunny day. Splash down at sea on planet Earth. The astronauts are home. Hooray! Look, they're back. They're back and they're very happy, waving at everybody. I'm in my rocket, ready for blast off. Are you ready for blast off? Five, four, three, two, one, zero, blast off. Up in the air, I fly, zoom, 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 zoom. Up in the clouds, I fly, zoom, 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 and back down to land. session today everyone making a rocket and the story time and song I'll see you next time bye